welcome back to my channel. I'm filming such an exciting video today because tomorrow we go to Barbados. I'm literally so excited, I can't wait. I never thought I'd actually go to Barbados, but here we are, living our best lives. I'm gonna start packing. I need to get my hair done tonight. I need to do my eyebrows. I had my eyelashes tinted and lifted. If I had it done um, a couple of nights ago now, but they literally look so good. Like the UK lashes absolutely been paying off. Um, what else do I need to do? I need to paint my toenails. Oh yeah, I got my nails done yesterday. This is literally the most basic me colour ever, just like baby pink. I'm gonna just get straight into packing. Please excuse the awful lighting and just, they're not very great angles. It's I got some new suitcases for Christmas and I'm actually obsessed with them. This is my suitcase that I'm gonna be using. This is the one I got for Christmas. And then we also have a medium and a small one it's literally huge and i still don't even think i have enough room which is just absolutely ridiculous i'm gonna try film from this sort of angle sorry if it's not that great but honestly what the hell right i'm gonna start with bikinis first um so i've got this really bright pink and orangey one this is from sheen it's just got these cute little like ruffled straps and then of the matching bottoms. I was gonna use packing cubes, but to be honest, I really don't feel like they actually save that much room. Like, yeah, it does look better, but anyway. The next bikini I got was this, like kind of, oh my God, this is like the worst. It goes on like that way. It's like a ruched sort of blue color. And the bottoms are like these high leg sort of like ruched waist bikini bottoms again. How do you even fold bikini bottoms? Like, I swear they just get chopped in. I then got this bikini. It's like a flowery sort of like ribbed one. This really reminds me of the Anyone But You film, hence why I brought it. Um, because who doesn't want to be Sydney Sweeney at the end of the day? These are the matching bottoms as well. Then I got this flower one. It gives It's giving like sort of Chanel vibes. So that's the top. And then the bottoms also has the matching flower. I then got my Mars Label Fishtail Swim in this like teal colour. And um, I've got a matching, oh my god, this is literally stuck under all my clothes. This is the matching like skirt cover up for it. Then this is another one of my faves. Again, kind of reminds me of anyone but you film. Um, I've got these bikini bottoms with this little matching top. It's got like the white lace detailing and the flower in the middle. Also, please ignore that I made bed. I've just put the sheets in the dryer because I want a fresh bed in before I get back. I've also got this little chocolate coloured bikini, which is like sort of a bra kind of ruched vibe again. Now for some cover-ups. I've got these crochet cream joggers from Boohoo. I think I brought these last year or the year before and they've lasted me well. They're just so nice to just chuck on like if you're going to the pool or a beach club or something. Then moving on to more evening outfits. You'll see all these outfits properly like in my vlogs. Um, but I've got this red maxi dress from Zara. I just think it's absolutely stunning. It's got like the open back. This is like the front of the dress but it's so flattering. I think it was part of the Valentine's Day collection next i've got this maxi dress from pretty little thing it's like this abstract black and white sort of print color it's a cow neck and it also has a low back i feel like everyone has this dress i'm pretty sure i've seen molly may wear it maybe um but yeah it's really flattering as well then another zara dress i went in there the other day like i've been trying to find holiday outfits for ages and i wasn't really loving anything and then i went in zara and literally got two really nice dresses this is a black midi dress i don't know why i'm getting so confused with the straps but it's got these like cross straps at the back i feel like it's one of them dresses where it just looks better once it's on but it's like midi and it's got a slit on the legs as well i've got this dress from sheen i can kind of wear this in the day or the evening um it's just like a little black flowy dress this is what it looks like at the front and then it just ties around at the back 
I think this is one of my favourite outfits that I've got. It's from Pretty Little Thing. It's this silk blue um, cord. So it's got this top that like ties around the front like a little bow. And then it's got a matching maxi skirt. And I just love it. It's so flattering. And it's just like really flowy and cool for the evenings. This is kind of like a day slash evening dress. Um, again, from Pretty Little Thing. I got this maybe last year or the year before again it's like this ribbed sort of greeny dress these linen trousers from Stradivarius I wore these on one day last year and they're so nice they're just like so flowy and I feel like they go with so many different tops then I've got this skirt again from Pretty Little Thing it's like this woven sort of material and has a little white rope tie on the side then I've just got a couple of basic shirts. I've got this black one that I'll sometimes wear as like a oversized t-shirt slash dress with shorts. And then I've also got it in pink. This is from Primark. It definitely needs an iron, but I'm just gonna iron it when I get there because it's gonna be creased in my suitcase anyway. I then got this white silky top from Pretty Little Thing. It's just like an off the shoulder one. I've not worn this in ages, but I'll bring it on holiday anyway and i've got this long cream maxi skirt to go with it then for more like daytime outfits i've got a pair of these boyfriend denim shorts from pretty little thing a pair of black adidas running shorts my adenola t-shirt a pair of these like jogger cream shorts another pair of shorts these are from zara they're just like again just some like loose linen sort of shorts an oversized t-shirt from h&m yeah from h&m it's just this like cream with orange writing over then i've got this black and white top this is from sheen just to wear with like shorts or in the day another little sort of black crop top slash cami top this is from Stradivarius I then got this blue toweling short set with the matching crop top this is from Boohoo I'm just packing two pairs of cycling shorts so I've got these sort of like slinky ones and then also a ribbed pair because you really can't have too many shorts I then got a another swimming costume this is just a black high leg one from Pretty Little Thing then just this Zara dress it's like a rib sort of long sleeve one with a collar another top for the evening it's this like jean sort of denim material top from ego and just as like a backup evening outfit option i don't really know if i still like this but i'm gonna take it anyway it's this like zebra print skirt with a matching top the top kind of like kind of you like tie it around the back and then around your shoulders um so i'm gonna bring that just in case i already don't have enough clothes which i'm sure i do this little plt toweling play suit just around by the pool it's got this like plt print all over it i then got the cutest pajamas off of tiktok shop they're linked on my recent video if anyone wants to get them they're like these little cherry print pajama top with the matching shorts they are so cute and then i also got a pink pair they kind of remind me of victoria's secret it's just got a little pink heart and then the matching shorts again i actually have no idea if my suitcase is going to be too heavy because we have no scales here so i'm just gonna hope and pray for the best I've then just got a little basic rib top from H&M. And I've got this like beach bikini cover up top. And I think that's it for clothes wise. I'm going to add in underwear and socks and all of that good stuff. But yeah, I think that's all my clothes. But like, that's the hardest part done. This is my suitcase so far. I'm literally the messiest packer, but... I feel like it's all just gonna get mixed around. I've got all the suitcase clothes side all closed up. I'm gonna pack my my curler. I'm gonna just try and use my mum and sister's hair straightener so I don't have to pack anymore. I'm gonna add in like shoes next. I'm gonna take my proper Ibiza stompers with me because they're really comfy. I then just got my Adidas cream sliders. 
then I've just got my trusty black croissant heels. Some black sliders from Primark and then these like woven sliders from Primark. Okay, that is three, four, five, that's six pairs of shoes. Surely I don't need any more than that. I'm then gonna take these two bags from Primark. I've just got this like beach bag and then this bag for the evening slash day. I'm also gonna be bringing my Louis Vuitton bag to the airport and I think like another tote bag to put skincare and stuff in. I also have my sister's birthday presents that I need to bring. I'm really worried they're gonna get like broken in the suitcase and I've also got a birthday bag to bring. I'm gonna pack my makeup now. I got this little makeup bag from TikTok shop again. You can put your brushes in that section. It was really cheap as well. I'm pretty sure it must have been like four pound or something. And it's this nice little beige colour and it says cosmetic bag on. I've put all my makeup I'm going to take in this. I really hope that it fits in the bag. I always pack too much but I'm just like what if I want to try this makeup look? actually fitted all of my makeup in really really well um i'm gonna start packing my toiletries now i got these little travel bottles from primark so i'm just gonna fill them up with my face wash and i might put my face scrub in one of them as well i'm back on my messy floor but i'm just gonna pack all of my toiletries now i'm hoping that they'll fit in what this victoria's secret like fold out toiletry bag so i'm hoping it will fit in but who knows um so first thing i'm going to take is my i've got my elements cleanser and then um my face scrub here i only put a little bit of the face scrubbing so i only like exposed my face like two or three times while i'm going to be away so i've packed these two these containers are really good because like you know sometimes like these are like proper solid plastic ones sometimes like the jelly sort of ones like end up breaking or spilling and then taking my Red Can All Soft Shampoo and Conditioner. That's literally my favourite. A bit extra, but I'm taking my Pixie Detoxify Eye Masks. Just because I love that. I feel like it makes my makeup look better when I put them on before. Even though it doesn't, but just my head. Um, then for some more skincare, I'm just taking a little face mask. This is an avocado clay mask. And my LMS pro collagen cleansing balm to take off my makeup also i really want to take my heatless curler because i feel like it's just easier than having to curl my hair every day and they just stay in so much better i've then just got another little bag um just to put in my beach i've got a sun cream spf i've got a hair and scalp sunspray because i always end up burning my scalp i've also got another bondi sands lip balm in there with spf in and then just for the convenience i've just got my sol de janeiro body wash and an eye cream in there just because it fitted in there really nicely of course can't go on holiday without bum bum cream it's literally just the best and then taking my sunday rain mini body scrub in mango and coconut my new favorite scent is the Ariana Grande vanilla mood it's literally so nice it's perfect for holidays well because it's quite light it's not too like strong liam got me this spray um in my valentine's little hamper that he did for me it's so nice it's the so unique coral daisy it is peach daisy and vanilla flower literally 
just smells so nice. It'll be nice to like around the beach just to like quickly spray on. And of course, deodorant. I almost forgot my eyelash colors. I forgot to put my makeup bag. What an idiot of all. Put them there. And then for hair stuff, I've got a mini It's a 10 Miracle Leave-In product and my Olaplex oil. And just a claw clip, some bobby pins, hair bands, a rat tail comb. And I think that's everything. Also, what does that, does everyone else call these rat tail combs? Because I don't know what they're actually supposed to be called. But now I've just said it out loud, it sounds really weird, but I'm sure they are called a rat tail comb. Or rat tooth comb, no, not rat tooth comb. What the hell am I on about? Um, yeah, I'm gonna try to pack this all in here and see if it fits. It all fitted in. The only bits it didn't fit in was these three, but I wanted to take this little classic bag, makeup bag thing anyway to put my beach bag. But this is literally just the best makeup bag. I take it on every single trip. I think I must have had it for like at least two years now, maybe. But yeah, it's lasted me well and it's really good quality. Okay, I think I'm done packing now. I have no idea how much this weighs. I'm literally just counting on the fact that everyone else is underpacked because I definitely have not. I wanted to show you these really cool things that we got though because I didn't really want to ruin like the new suitcases when they go in the hold. I found these things off Sheen and they're basically like waterproof covers for the suitcase and they just go all the way around so like if they get like knocked or anything then it doesn't damage the suitcase and I just thought these were so clever. In my airport bag, I'm gonna wear my Louis Vuitton bag and then just take this to put some more of my stuff in. Um, so I'm just taking some skincare for the plane because it's a nine hour flight. So I've just got some makeup wipes, a little Nivea soft moisturizer, a vitamin C serum, my Laneige vanilla lip mask and some pimple patches. Then also just taking a scrunchie and a claw clip. I'm gonna pack my headphones. Also need to pack like my laptop, charger, random bits like that. So yeah, wish me luck with carrying everything. I feel like this bag is not meant for having loads of stuff in, so I might see if Liam can put my laptop in his rucksack, hopefully. I'm gonna go and get my hair done now. I'm just having a little refresh around the front of my hair with some blonde, and I'm gonna get it styled so it's all nice and fresh for holiday. Um, I'm gonna vlog when I'm there, but yeah, this is the before. Very dark, greasy, it needs a good old wash. Um, and yeah, I'm praying I like it, because like I said, it's a brand new salon that I've never been to before. So wish me luck. I'm back from the salon now with my fresh hair. I just did a T-section for a bit of like a refresh and had a toner. She did do a curly blow dry and it looked stun, but I've walked outside since then and it dropped. But anyway, it's still looking cute. I also picked up, picked up my Zara order. I ordered some wide leg joggers, so I'm hoping they fit for the airport tomorrow. If I'm not worried I'm in my airport vlog, then you'll know that they go back. Um, but me and Liam have just ordered a Chinese on the way. I'm so excited. I'm gonna tint and laminate my brows while I'm watching Love Island. But I hope everyone enjoyed today's video. I'm literally crouching. So sorry if I'm trying to be quick. Um, but yeah, I hope everyone enjoyed today's video and I'm going to have so many holiday vlogs coming up. I'm so excited. So yeah, make sure you subscribe. I'm also going to do loads of content on my TikTok as well on my Instagram. Um, so yeah, make sure you follow and subscribe to see other content. Thanks so much for watching and I'll speak to you in the next video.